and welcome back to another episode of Dreamfall. Um, this episode was meant to be last week. Missed that one because of it all messed up. Um, and then last week there was two missing as well because I was on holiday. <laughs> I went to Ireland um, to fish, and it, oh, it was amazing. So cool. Nice little week away. But uh, I missed YouTube, missed the family. It's uh, well let let's just try and jump right back into it. We're about to follow this guy, and uh, yeah, so let's uh, crack on. This does look cool. Come. Yeah, I'm coming. This looks so cool. There's a cool forest up in Ireland as well, um, and it was just, it looked like uh, really spooky, and I really liked it. Didn't, didn't manage to take a photo though, unfortunately. This is cool. So hopefully we go and see the uh Follow me. The Draken. Uh, yeah, we're still following. What's that? Follow me. Hang on. That's weird that isn't it? Cool. <laughs> I'd live in a place like this. Imagine it might get a bit cold though. The mushrooms Please fall. Be quiet. We are resting. Ooh. I do like the fact that they are all connected. You know, it's like their thoughts are all the same. And the memories are all the same and it's pretty cool. It's a big library. Follow me. Ooh. Actually submerged. Follow me. These Follow trees me. reach deep underwater. Probably nice. much, much further down than they reach up. Very impatient, isn't he? <laughs> Let's go for explore. Why does some of the books look like the? You see, you know, see what I mean? Some stick out and some don't. <laughs> Can't go in there. Someone's been reading. A lot. <laughs> Since he got every kind of book and... Someone's been reading. A lot. Someone's same, been yeah. reading. A lot. This is our library. It's enormous. It is as ancient as we are. As old as the first civilization. We have collected every word ever written. There is no other library like it. And you've only collected what others have written? We do not create. We collect, we record, and we store. It is left for others to trap words between sheets of paper. We do not often allow visitors into our city. But if you have a purpose here, then you are welcome. I guess I have a purpose, though I'm not sure what it is yet. The greater the purpose, the harder it is to understand and to accept. 
I shall go to the White of the Kin and tell her that you are here. The library is yours to peruse in the meantime. Cool. Can we... How do we get down? Can I fly? <laughs> Hello? Crow? <laughs> is that really you? Hello, April. How nice to see you again. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for leaving me hanging dry on that mountain path. Eight bloody years ago! I remember this guy. <laughs> um, yeah. Eight years is a bit... Uh... How have you been? You mean for the past... Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Eight years? I know. I'm sorry. Let's try and get past that, okay? At least for the time being. And that time just happens to be... Eight years? <laughs> All right, okay, fine. I'll be a good foul and pretend everything's just peachy. Thank you, Crow. So what in the name of the balance are you doing here? I'm on a journey of inner discovery. A journey of... Never mind. It's good to see you, Crow. It's been too long. Eight? Yeah, <laughs> you know... No, oh, for crying out loud! Ah, oh, crow. I want to crow like this. I'm really happy to see you too. Honestly. Who said anything about being happy to see you? I'm just relieved you're alive. And don't think I'm not angry at you, or that I've forgiven you, because I am and I haven't. I know. So what's new with... Hello, pale lady. Sister, you look tired. Thanks. Nice to see you too. You've changed since the last time I saw you. That's because I have this human body. Do you like it? It's... Hard to miss. Why are you in human form? It's a disguise. I'm in exile. Someone hunts the kin. That's why I'm here. And why I'm wearing this skin. It's tight and uncomfortable, but it conceals <laughs> me. And it makes some humans look at me with admiration. <laughs> uh, uh, she said sister. Why do you call me sister? We are bound by threads that weave through time and space. By words that create and destroy. And by kinship stronger than blood. I don't know what that means. It's been troubling me for so long. Are you saying that I'm a dragon? There were only four. And now there's only one. No. You're not dry kin, sister. Then what does it mean? I can't explain. It's not in my vocabulary to explain. And this narrow mouth can't articulate the words. We have history. But more than history connects us. I can never get a straight answer out of anyone in this world. <laughs> uh, yeah, Wait. This one. You're being hunted? By whom? I don't know. Shadows. And ghosts. I think the others are gone. And I'm worried. All of them? I know the two dragons and Stark are gone, but what about the old one? The blue of the kin? He's silent. They're all silent. I can't feel them anymore. They've ceased to be. And I'm alone. Is it the Azadi? Who are the Azadi? Oh, yes. The humans you've taken up arms against to forget yourself. No. This enemy isn't mortal. Hmm. You have no idea who this enemy is who hunts you? I feel it searching with dark eyes. Reaching out for me with sharp talons. It wants to eat me up. But why? Why would anyone want to kill the dry kin? So that there's nothing left to challenge it. So that it can run free amongst mortals. So that it can devour. Undisturbed. But don't worry about me. I'm safe here. It can't touch me now. I came here looking for answers. I need to speak with the Guardian. You have questions for him. 
Yes, about my... my future, I guess. You want to know if you're free from responsibility. Free to live your life. It's what all humans crave, isn't it? Freedom. And I understand why now. This body is so constricting. So small. So fragile. Soft and beautiful and pleasurable. But a prison for the soul. How did you know what I planned to ask the Guardian? Your worries weigh you down, big sister. Your heart's heavy. And your mind's a maelstrom. It pulls at me and everyone around you. You're unable to shift. I'm... Yeah. I've lost that ability. It's not something you can lose. Maybe you've just forgotten how. Well, it doesn't work anymore, and even if it did, I can't just open a shift into the Guardian's realm. Really? Why is that? Because that's not how it goes. I can't... I could shift between Stark and Arcadia, but it was a hell of a lot more difficult to go to that place. Everything's changed, and everything's still changing. But you're right, you can't do it on your own. This one needs to help you. What? Me? What could he possibly do? Thanks, April. I'm right here! Some respect, please! Like all oh, living bro. things, he has a purpose. This is his purpose. Or at least part of it. He's an important bird. I can help you open a shift, sister. But it can't be done without him. He must go with you. I'm not agreeing to anything unless someone tells me what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. You only need to be here, funny bird. You'll be fine. Close your eyes, April. What? Close your eyes. Don't argue. I get impatient. Fine. My eyes are closed. What now? Nothing. You've opened up a passage between worlds. Do you see how easy it is? What? How the hell did you do that? I didn't do much. As I said, you can't lose your talents, but you can forget them. I helped you remember. So I can shift again now? No. Not on your own. I don't know why. That's just the way it is. The portal will remain open on the other side, but it won't take you back here. It'll take you to Mercuria. Whatever answers the Guardian may have for you, and whatever your future holds, that's where you need to be. That's probably true. Well, I appreciate all your help. Take care, okay? Stay here and stay in that disguise. It suits you. This is the safest place. And there's so much knowledge here. So much wisdom. I never knew that the scribbled words of mortals could be so fascinating. Good luck, sister. Live well. You deserve it. You've earned it. Come on, Crow. I don't trust portals. They always lead to trouble. Go on, little one, funny bird. <laughs> she needs you now. More than ever. Okay, okay. Funny bird. Lucky for you, I have a soft spot for pretty ladies. Coming through! So we're going in to see the Guardian now. Hey, you. Hello. How are you doing? Just peachy. I've, um, slept, read, slept some more. I've never been this tired in my life. No wonder. You've been around the world and through the ringer. It's a miracle you're still standing. I know. I keep surprising even myself. So, any news? Definitely. We started receiving information from the worm. It's just a trickle, but enough to work on. And? Not good. I don't know what's happening yet, but it appears DreamNet is expanding onto the wire at an alarming rate. Also, the virus, if that's what it is, is increasing its grip on the Dream Core. Another week, and Wadi might not be in the driver's seat any longer. Can't they just shut it down? Maybe, but they won't do that now. They'd have to shut down the entire project, and if they wait, the window of opportunity is shrinking. What else have you found out? I've begun searching through the data coming into Dreamcore, around the time the static started happening. With any luck, I might be able to get some coordinates. Coordinates to what? To where the intrusion originated. To who's behind it. If I can get that location, 
We might be able to stop the attack at the source. But it'll take another few days to download all that data. In the meantime, we'll just have to wait. No. No, we can't just sit around and twiddle our thumbs. We need to do something. Okay. Um, what did you have in mind? I should go back in. Back in? Hey, no. That's not an option. It is an option. You have a dreamer, right? And that drug... Uh... Morpheus. Look, it's not safe. Pete, he, he might find you. He won't. He told me so himself. He couldn't get inside me. That's what frustrated him so much. My dreams were closed off to him. If I go back inside, I might be able to speak with that girl again. The one Pete's is so afraid of. And maybe she can help me get back to... To that place. To Arcadia? I know you don't believe me. I don't even know if I believe it myself, but... It's not that I don't believe you, Zoe. It's just that I know how powerful the dreamer is. It can make anything seem real. It wasn't a dream. I don't know what it was, but I was there. Somewhere else. Another world. And I need to go back. It's too dangerous. Look, Charlie said I never left the fringe the first time I hooked up. I'll be right here. You can pull me out if anything happens. It could be the whole thing was just a dream. In that case, there's nothing to lose. And if it wasn't a dream, there's everything to be gained. Maybe April knows what's going on now. Maybe she's willing to help me. Maybe... Damien, please. It's the only lead we have right now. I don't want to sit here and wait. I want to do something. I want to stop Watty Corp. I know. I, I just wish that I... I didn't have to sit here and, and watch you hook up to that thing. I know. I've nice enjoyed staying here, Damien. Oh, no. With you. Getting to know you. You're... You're someone I might want to get to know better. Really? I, I feel the same way. The it's just that... This is a strange time. I don't know where Reza is, or if he's even alive still. The world's going to hell. And now we're talking about hooking me up to a device that might send me to another world. It's a bit out of the ordinary. I can see that. So, um... I just wanted you to know that... I like you. That I want to get closer to you. Just not... Not right now. Hey, that's okay. I feel... Oh, no. <laughs> So you don't forget. Trust me, I won't. You're great, Zoe, and, and I... Shut up. This is pretty. It kind of looks like Ark. Kind of. Except for the glowy dude in the middle. Don't you think? Jeepers, this place has changed a lot. It used to scare the crap out of me, and now it's sort of... Fluffy. Fluffy. With an edge. The Guardian's <laughs> out there. I guess I should go alone. I'm not arguing. Knock <laughs> yourself out. I'll wait here. Unless that portal thingy starts closing, in which case it's bye-bye Guardian's realm. Hello, comfortable reality. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. <laughs> oh, crow. Right. Well, this looks really nice. Go see the Guardian. Well, yeah, it does have a big look of arc to it, don't you think? I'm 
glutes. <laughs> April, I'm pleased to see you. Pleased and surprised. I'm just as surprised as you are, Gordon. How uh, have you been? I Gordon. don't know. This place. I'm both a part of it and apart from it. I'm no longer who I once was, though I remain who I once was. There is natural dichotomy to the balance. Positive and negative. Reality and dream. Being and unbeing. Sounds confusing. I don't envy your role. You're standing in the middle of a very busy intersection. I don't know any other way to be anymore. I... remember. But my memories feel like they belong to someone else. So, April, you have come to me with questions. I didn't know where else to turn. Something's going on with the Twin Worlds, and I need to know what you know. You're right. Something touches the balance between the Twin Worlds. Dreams. Threads that weave through the Divide. But the balance remains undisturbed. Dreams have always passed between the world of Stark and the world of Arcadia. That is how the worlds stay connected. How magic and science remain inextricably tied to each other. The laws of nature, of the universe, are stronger than the artifice of the Divide. So it's not something dangerous? I don't know, April. There are forces far stronger than the balance at play here. Dreams make up the fabric of Cosmos. Yet my responsibility lies solely with the channeling of energies between Stark and Arcadia, between science and magic. And you don't know anything about these dreams? I know this. Your role in these events has come to an end. You are not the one who will set things right this time. I'm... not. Who will? That's not for me to see. Your fate has always been tied to the balance, April. I see where our paths intersect. I can't see into the dreaming. The dreaming? What's that? The place where everything begins. You, me, this realm, the twin worlds, time, matter, cosmos, everything. It all begins in the dreaming. You're being obtuse. You know I hate it when people are being obtuse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know any more than that. But you don't have to carry the burden on your shoulders this time around, April. You're free. Go live your life. Let the past go. That's easy for you to say. There's meaning to your existence. Me? I wasn't who I thought I was. I honestly have no idea who I am anymore. Everyone kept telling me I was important, that I was needed. Then one day I... wasn't. I was just lost. So don't tell me I'm free. Don't tell me to go live my life. You don't know. You have a purpose. We all do, April. You just haven't found yours yet. But this isn't it. Let it go. Okay. Done. I'm officially letting this one go. There's nothing more you can tell me? Only what I sense. Dreams are passing from Stark to Arcadia, but not the other way around. A slow trickle that may grow to a torrent. But this does not concern the balance. And so, it does not concern me. I guess that's good news. Thank you. By the way, I like what you've done with the place. Thank you. Safe journeys, April. And back up he goes. Ah. Very cool. So we have no path in this, he says. Imagine being told, imagine like traveling all this way and like that and having someone come from from Stark world from our world and saying that you're needed and then getting told that you're not needed hmm. so can we see I wish we could like see 
down and stuff. This would be boss if this game was like remastered or something. For like our generation of computers. That'd be cool. Come on, Crow. Come on, Crow. Let's go. So, did you find what you were looking for? I did. Good. I love happy endings. Ah, another adventure complete. Well played, partner. Time to go back and gorge ourselves on Rose de Gipa and Ice Ale. Rose de Gipa. <laughs> okay. You drink Ice Ale? I thought you didn't like alcohol. I've acquired a taste for it. And I like being drunk and not having to take responsibility <laughs> for my actions. That's yeah. always a plus. Yeah. <laughs> bear that likes getting drunk, eh? Funny bird. Gordon. That was his name, right? Gordon. The Guardian. Don't worry about the drug. It won't harm you. It's a mild sedative and hallucinogenic. It'll help you sleep and dream. I'm not a big fan of drugs. Me neither. But for the time being, the dreamer requires it. We're working... I mean, we were working on it. This won't hurt at all. The red pill or the blue pill? I feel drowsy already. Hold on, I'll get the dreamer. Squid ink pizza. Did you see that? I'm so sleepy. I know. You'll be fast asleep in less than a minute. Damien? Yes, yeah, Zoe? Don't... leave me. I won't. I'll be right here when you come back. What did you... say? Alright, so Zoe's going back over to... Oh. Again. I need to find the girl. Let's go. I think we've got time for this for the end of the episode. This looks cool though. You! I found her. I found April Ryan, but. You must save her! I don't know. Who are you? What are you? You must save her, Zoe. Please. But I don't know what to do. She's fine. She doesn't need to be saved. Find April Ryan. Save her. Oh. Well, that was creepy. Remember how to fight. Goddess can't help you here. 
shit that's that. You're far from Few more. Come on, you can do this. Oh. Oh. I can't. Let's get him. There we go. Oh, we're a bit close. Can you step? <laughs> there we go. Please, no, don't hurt me, please. Answer my questions, and I might spare your life. I'll tell you anything you want. Just don't hurt me. <laughs> Weird looking fella. Um, we need to find the scorpion. Yeah. I want to know about the one they call the scorpion. The scorpion? Uh, that's just a legend. A legend that has murdered hundreds of my people. Hey. Hey, look, I don't know anything. I haven't hurt nobody. I'm just repeating w what I've been told. I want to help you. I really do. But if you want to find this scorpion of yours, you'll need to ask someone else, okay? Tell me everything you know about the rebels. I'm just an honest businessman. I don't know anything about... Your life is hanging by a very thin thread. All right, all right. So I've had some dealings with certain people, but it's just business. Herbs, roots, potions, medicines, that's all. No weapons. Do you know how to get in touch with these customers of yours? If I tell you, they'll have me killed, for sure. These are not the kind of people you mess around with. Neither am I. If you refuse to cooperate, I'll string you up and put a knife to your belly until either you spill your guts or your guts spill to the ground. No, look... I have no quarrel with you or your people. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything at all. Apostle, there's a message for you. What? They've caught a rebel witch. She was using magic and she resisted arrest. They've got her locked up in Friar's Keep. Friars Where Keep. is that? On the east side of the city. I can escort you, Apostle. No, I will find it. <laughs> I should go immediately. Maybe this witch has had dealings with the Scorpion. Take care of this one, soldier. He has valuable information that he's very generously agreed to share with us. Bring him to the tower and wait for me. Sir! Alright. But, that is going to be it for today. Um, quite a quite a mad one, like we've been to a few different worlds. <laughs> well, not worlds, but we went to the Guardian's Lair. We went to the library and seen the White of the Draken. Um, and then we knocked these guys out. Don't know why, but yeah. They're either dead or unconscious. Something like that. <laughs> but that is where we're going to leave it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, until next time, guys. Peace.